Welcome back to the newest edition of Ryanology. I'm your host, Ryan Aruda, and thank you for tuning in. On this episode, I have an interview with the TEDx DHS advisors, Mrs. True and Mrs. Souza, about the TEDx DHS event that will be happening on March 11th. Please take a look and enjoy. Welcome back. Today I'm here with the TEDx DHS advisors, Mrs. True and Mrs. Souza. So before we get into it, what do you do here at the high school? So I'm Mrs. True and I am a world history and AP human geography teacher here at the high school. And I've been here a long time, as has Mrs. Souza. <laughs> we're, we're the veterans. Um, and Mrs. Souza? I am Mrs. Souza. I am the World Language Lead Teacher, and I teach uh, Portuguese and uh, Spanish, and same as Ms. True. Um, been here for at DHS for a long time, and being part of the um, faculty, and also I also coach uh, cross country and track. That's great. Mm -hmm. So, TEDx DHS. We've had it every year. Even last year, we were able to do it. Thank goodness. Yeah. What? is TEDx and what is it all about? Well, TEDx came, um, actually it was Mrs. Sousa's idea. We had taken uh, a number of students to the TEDx in New Bedford and um, the kids came back really excited about being involved. If you know anything about TED, um, TED.com usually gives you a bunch of different uh, length videos that talk about a variety of topics. And obviously, when kids came back really passionate from going to that conference, uh, Mrs. Sousa came to me and she said, hey, what do you think about us doing one with the kids? And I went, uh-oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you know, this kind of came from that. And the enthusiasm of the kids really is what has um, made this program thrive as the years have progressed. Um, because a lot of the students are the ones who come up with who should be our presenters. They'll say, hey, this kid is very good at this particular subject matter or whatever. And they'll say, reach out to that student. Uh, and that usually works in, in terms of getting us kids that actually provide you know, knowledge. And the best part of it is the fact that kids are presenting about topics that they're passionate about. And so to them, it's not a chore. It's a labor of love. And it's great to see kids shine on that type of a stage. Absolutely. So the theme this year, what are we looking at seeing with the students in their presentations? Um, this year we came up um, in our meetings with, after various uh, discussions, uh, connections to the world around us. We often, uh, our theme relates to a global or world theme. Um, I think that's our connection as well. And this year, uh, we're definitely, um, you know, re uh, revolving around that theme. And obviously, the the topics that the students, as Ms. Drew said, they pick something that they want to talk about. But it will be a range of topics from uh, English, math, uh, politics, um, to uh, environmental science, um, I think someone's doing cooking and you know international cooking. Robotics. This Robotics year this yeah, year. Really so we're exciting. very excited. So we do try to get topics that um, touch upon all the things that we kind of offer here at uh, DHS. So we really try to vary that, not just be one topics, uh, you know, different topics. And like Ms. True said, really a topic that the students have a passion for, and they really dig in and give a powerful uh, presentation on that topic and having that diversity among the topics, not just, you know, making these f guidelines for students to follow. It kind of allows them to flourish in their Absolutely. own ideas. And, and that's, that's the goal, right, is to showcase the students in a, a different potential way than what they would be in a classroom situation. Um, and oftentimes, kids are very surprised. Uh, the other students that are not in the program are very surprised to see the topics that are put forth because they assume that we're just going to say, okay, you have to pick a math or a science. And then when they see something that's a little different, they really go, oh, so you really can talk about whatever you want. And it's like, yeah, that's the whole point is to get the kids to be inputting. They do come to us a lot of times and say, can you help narrow? <laughs> uh, you know, and, and we're like, 
okay, where, where are you thinking? You know, like that. So it's a lot of brainstorming with the kids um, and then really working through to make it a more succinct, you know, presentation rather than it being really just kind of, you know, on the fly. We don't do that, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know, you've participated in, in this last year and you know the process, Ryan. And, and so it really is one of those situations that kids, I think, are brought to a very different level in terms of what they think they can do and what they actually can do. And it, it's great to see you kids gain that confidence and say, I got this. Yeah. Uh, and so it's, it's wonderful to see that. And alongside the confidence that's growing among the students, what would you say are the most important skills that the kids going into it, what are they getting out of it? Obviously, like you said, they're having that confidence boost, but what else are they achieving among the research, among the presentation, mm -hmm. and just working with their peers? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, all those things are um, true, but I think to give a presentation and to be that well prepared is a, a great accomplishment. Um, as you probably will see many of them this year, as in the previous years, they really prepare for this and they, they can present that material because they really um, dig in and they really know it and they want to present and they're passionate about it. So I think that concept of presenting it to your whole uh, DHS, the school, is an, a great accomplishment to do that. It's not, and a lot of times it might be, you know, some of us are more uh, willing to do presentations and there's no problem with that. But a lot of times we get students, they're pretty quiet and you would never expect them to do it and they come out and they do a phenomenal job with the presentations, you know, and we guide them through that process and we practice quite a few times. We tell them to practice at home. We have uh, the week before, you know, we go through those presentations and then the day before uh, or two days before, you know, we're working with the sound um, and somehow it all comes out and, and they do an excellent job. But I think it's in a great accomplishment that you can say, I did a TED talk, um, you know, on a topic that I enjoyed. I know and that's a great accomplishment for a student at this age. Absolutely. You know, because <laughs> as Ms. Drew will tell them, you know, when we see these professional TED talks, they practice for months you know, to have that professional. And here, these are high school students, and uh, you know, it's what they produce at the end is uh, pretty amazing. And I think there, there's a sense of pride in their work because um, a lot of the kids really, at first, are very, very skeptical. <laughs> mm. And as, as the you know, whole process uh, continues, then they start to kind of see, like, wait a minute, I got this, I got this. Um, and and we often say to the students, if you make a mistake, who cares? Nobody's going to know <laughs> that you made a mistake. Uh, and so just roll with the punches. And, and I think that's another thing that kids are learning some resiliency, too, uh, in terms of, hey, it might not go 100% the way I wanted it to, but it's still really great. And uh, that's a skill set that kids need to understand that, all right, it might not be what I thought, but it's still very good. Absolutely. And yeah. You actually, some of these kids you don't even have in your classrooms. No. So being able to not only meet new people, but watching these students flourish four years through it, you know, you see them come in as a freshman, yes. all, you know, shy, but as they go through their senior year, you see these speakers and these wonderful talkers. And what kind of satisfaction does that bring to you that you know that you're providing this, almost this outlet for students where they're able to, just grow on themselves. Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, the whole idea and that, you know, I brought up to Ms. True when we first started, it was to be student-centered and to give the students that voice and that passion for a topic. And that's always been our, um, you know, our goal is to have it student-centered and have the students be the leaders and kind of find their path in how they want to present the topic. We make a lot of recommendations and suggestions uh, and obviously that's where we do as advisors and, you know, working together and making those uh, changes. But in the end, uh, you know, a lot of these ideas and um, the product is to celebrate the students and their, uh, their passion for the topic. And I think one of the best things that we see is that many of our, as we call them, veterans come back mm -hmm. uh, and pretty much beg us to do it again. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, we have this policy, obviously, and, and the kids who are the veterans, they know this, that we say, you know, the people who are the newcomers, they get first dibs. Um, but 
oftentimes we're able to find you know, a way to integrate those students that have already presented, be it behind the scenes or in front of the camera. Um, but it, it's really a great experience, so much so that they want to repeat it. And, and again, they do find that sense of, you know, like you said, growth, but also, again, just that pride in themselves. And, and it's really great to see a student who is legitimately proud of themselves and you're just mm -hmm. like good for you you know yeah. and, I, and I can tell you we always say to the kids we're like these proud parents that are there like oh my gosh look at you guys go yeah. you know and it, it's it's a it's a wonderful thing to see from beginning to end in terms right. of the process and you're right we have had some students um, who their first presentation was during their freshman year and now they're into the upper grade levels and and we certainly have seen the maturity level increase no doubt about it yeah. you know so yeah we've gotten yeah, we're really lucky in terms of that, yeah. yeah. I think another thing to highlight, and it's been wonderful for us, has been the incorporation of the technology, and obviously um, with DHS TV Media, um, enable us to be streaming. Uh, last year, because of the pandemic, we had to uh, sort of take a different route, and it worked out wonderful, and we were able to stream it to the classrooms and, um, and also um, outside. So it was, it's been a nice uh, evolve um, of the program and what we're putting out uh, each year. So the technology part has definitely been um, an enhancement to our program and um, you know, broadcasting it to the students um, and the community as well. So. And D DCTV has also helped us too with the audio. We, we have to thank Peter Chase because mm -hmm. he really goes out of his way every year uh, to support our students and has since the beginning, um, you know, and there's right. never a, a question. He's always like, yep, you tell me when and I'll be there. Right. And, and so, um, you know, it's, it's a really good thing to have all of these people helping us. Mm -hmm. and, and even from the beginning, with a lot of the background set stuff that we put into play, we've had the art department help out. We've had, um, you know, engineering department help. I mean, you name it. It's been a collaborative effort. And, you know, because people really want to see the kids succeed. Uh, we're always saying to the students, you have a ton of experts in this building. Seek their assistance. That's what they want to do. They want to help you. Uh, and the kids are usually are surprised that the teachers want to help, <laughs> which I find funny. Um, you know, and, and so they said, oh, they, they gave me too much help. And I'm like, well, that's good, right? You know, and, and so we really have seen that. So there's different connections that you make with those people as well. And again, it's really a group effort, I must say, um, because yeah, we definitely couldn't do this on our own, right? Down to the cafeteria workers, the custodians right. who help us out. Um, I mean, you name it, the administration helps us out too. Um, th it's a lot that goes into the behind the scenes that I don't think people understand. Yeah. Uh, and you know, you being you know, here in video production, you know that there's a lot of behind the scenes uh, input that people really don't understand. And so it, it really, yeah, it's great that people are helping us produce this kind of a program uh, for the students. And talking about streaming it live, talking about this year, when are we gonna be able to kind of see it come out? It's slated to be March 11th uh, at this point, which is a Friday. And so, you know, barring any unforeseen circumstances, which I certainly hope that's not gonna be mm -hmm. the case, uh, it's March 11th. And at this point, I'm assuming it's going to be live streamed. We don't know whether or not we're going to be able to have a live audience at this point because obviously, you know, things are still in flux. Um, but we'll see. And how many student presenters will we be having? We now have a 16 wow. signed up, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, and they're signed up for 10 minute presentations. And so we're hoping to do four per period. And we usually take a break during the lunch period uh, simply because the logistics of trying to organize things during the lunch period, as, as you all know, is a nightmare. Uh, and so therefore, we usually take that break. Um, but yeah, at this point, kids are excited. Kids are, you know, I had kids in my room this period, like going, okay, we're here for TED. And I was like, that's next week, not this week. <laughs> uh, so therefore, you know, it, it, kids are excited. They're ready. And, and yeah, I'm loving it. Well, so. that's really great. And I know we can't wait to see it. So um, I'd like to Thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you for having us. And Thank you. I can't wait to see you again once we finish up with Ted. We'll see you next Tuesday at the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much.
Let's take a look at some of the highlights from last year's TEDx DHS event. Currently, students in modern America have the ability to choose from a plethora of different courses that weren't available to them many years ago. These courses vary and range from many different topics and fields, and we have many different departments at our school to handle these. In conclusion, Today, linguistics I'm is always changing, but it's important that you understand how to best communicate with people and best portray what you're feeling to those around you. If you understand the importance of your words and the importance of what you're saying, you can make a better impact on the world around you and communicate with those you may have previously not. So, in today's society, most of us no longer need to consume meat. So, why do we? Well, we do so because it tastes good. But, is sensory pleasure from our taste buds justifiable for taking away an animal's life? As a fellow student and a fellow senior, we have lots of choices to make this year. Many are from college to military, and family-related matters, especially since COVID happened this year. As a student that does many activities after school, as Mrs. Drew said, it's important that we don't let others base our opinions and what we want to do in our future based off of theirs. Let's make our own decisions to advance our life. By emphasizing STEM in our students at a young age and promoting diversity, we're able to create a more equitable and fair community. This is how we move forward one step at a time. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Rhinology. I'd like to thank the TEDx DHS advisors, Mrs. True and Mrs. Souza, for joining me today. Please stay on the lookout for the live stream hosted by yours truly, DHS TV Media, on March 11th all day long. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.